<laughs> G'day! <laughs> Hiya. Oh, welcome, welcome back. back. The tier list boys are at it again. Welcome back to another tier list. We've, uh, another tier. Yeah, another tier list. We've got a very special guest with us. All the way from uh, Central Queensland itself, Mr. Jarek, the Elf Lord. Hello, how are we? It's good that, you know, you've uh, finally decided to have someone with wisdom and intelligence on this. Yeah, we've, uh, we've had and the spare on the panel, so now we've got the air, thing. so here we go. <laughs> <That's true>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, so uh, we, we've brought Jarek along because he, uh, he has a particular set of skills, uh, and it's playing elf armies. Yeah. Yeah, like, and rolling four <laughs> high. And rolling four high, yeah. Uh, that, no, not with shooting though. Like too high with shooting. Too high with shooting for high in combat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah perfect. Exactly. Done it. That's it. The, the classic elf combo. The classic elf. <laughs> <that's it. laughs> um, but today, we're doing. Well, there's only one elf army left, isn't there? There is, and it's uh, it's yeah. it's the shit one, uh, Thrandall's Halls. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're, cre- we're creeping into Hobbit territory here. Ooh. With our first, I think our first Hobbit army. Um, might be. Might have been. Another. Maybe it's, maybe it's not. I, I don't know. I technically actually Rivendell's in both lists, so, you know. That was a trivia question. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. There we go. Gladstone tournament trivia question. Oh, Keep trivia again. Out. All the answers mm. for the next Gladstone tournament trivia is uh, going to be right. in this video. So in this watch video. all the yeah. way through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it. right. Yeah, so let's, let's let's jump straight into Halls of Thrandall. We've got uh, the Brand Merkwood Daddy Captain. Falls. Yeah, the Merkwood um, Captain. The Captain. Um, Glaive. That's uh, cool. Very what cool. Creature? Ta- Useful. Yeah. Fine. Um, you know, seventy-five points. I'm 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 not a fan. If I'm taking a captain in this list, it's not this boy. Yeah, I think I think in this list, like you look at the profile and you're like, yep, elf captain, fight six, strength four, d6, two attacks, you know, yeah. within creature. He's got the glaive, which is kind of a cool rule. But there's other models in this list that make exact it. Exact same point. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, the, the other captain who'll come up uh is is literally the exact same points in fact yeah. order next the, um, um <laughs> the only point difference is uh pay an extra five points give him a shield make him d7 yeah, yeah which you do do right yeah. um sure. shielding on a captain uh for 75 points though not terrible amazing um because you know you get the shielding special rule from the glaive you get to spear support with a fight six spear support yeah, there's there's uh, situations where a Merkle captain could be all right, but I think the palace guard, especially with their king's guard special rule and bodyguard, yeah, they they eke it out. I think fight um, seven so captains on the palace guard, fight seven, plus one to wound, and bodyguard, outrageously good. I don't even think the Merkle captain sits B. Old mate's no, got to sit B. He's I think he sits trash. B. In Ooh. this list, he sits B. I think. Yeah, I think Games Workshop missed a trick here by not making this captain able to take a horse. Oh, I, yeah, I would agree with you been, there. That if they'd been, been able to take a horse, you know, they'd be probably you'd, you'd pick between the Palace Guard captain and the Merkwood captain, but without the yeah. horse, it's just not great. The only thing is, like, I mean, a fight six spear support can be really helpful, but but I can get that seventy five points. Yeah, 12 points in a different list. <laughs> I get that in 12 points in this list. Yeah. Oh, true. Of course. Yes, the uh, the Palace Guard. Of course. Well, yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah, no, you're probably right. That looks better. Yeah, yeah. no, no you're right. Um, but uh, Palace Guard Captain, uh, like we've already said, I think, uh, I think it's easy A tier. Yeah, uh, I, I would almost consider, I'd almost consider S to be honest. But I that's when it. he's running around Thranduil, which in most cases you're going, that's going to happen. Thranduil's going to show up in this list. Yeah, they're just yeah. For eighty points. Mm. They're My only thinking good. is like the the problem with adding him in uh, with Thranduil. Obviously, is great, 
but it does kind of force you to a certain type, type, of, type of play style. Like, you've got to keep him near Thranduil. Well, you don't have to, I guess. You don't have to have the fight seven plus re-rolls. Uh, uh, plus one storm, sorry. But... But when you I do... I mean... Yeah. I, personally, I don't know about you, Mr. Jarek, but when I look at a list like this, I'm going Thranduil, Tariel, and a captain before I even look at, say, Legolas. I don't yeah, really I think... consider Legolas in this list. I, I think it depends on what you're going for. Like, I think Legolas has advantages that Tyrell doesn't have. Um, I personally always pick Tyrell, but Palace Guard Captain, for sure, I'd be arguing for S tier. Yeah. Especially given, yeah, it forces you to play a certain way, but that's how the, this army is designed to play. Like, that's fair. That that is the army is designed to do one thing, and it's gather up around Thrandall and just send it. So, yeah. If the Palace Guard does that well, the Cap Palace Guard Captain does that well. Um, heroic combating into range of Fight 7 is always funny. Um, <laughs> That's you, true, yeah. When, yeah. when your opponent fight. feels comfortable and then mm-hmm. suddenly, oh shit. Yeah, you've got you've got your Aragorn nearby, Her, the Palace Guard Captain comes in, Fight 7, you're like, oh, oh, I didn't strike, did I? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in trouble. And pl- if I'm within, if I've got Fight 7, I've also got plus one to wound. And I'm true. already yeah. four, so... With a hand on half sword. Uh, as I was yeah. telling the boys before this, I've watched two Palace Guard captains walk into to Durin and just melt him in a turn. It, yeah. They're that's phenomenal. Right. Absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. And it uh, has Mark, which none of the named heroes have. So Yeah. Um, no, no, you've uh, you convinced me for sure. Yeah. Um speaking of uh I mean Legolas The Prince of Mirkwood. I don't think he's that good, to be honest, especially in this list. I, uh, I don't know. He gets, I, I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of him. He gets better in the Merkwood Ranger Legend of Legion because suddenly he gets uh, Knife Fighter, mm-hmm. which is handy. But the the benefit you do get from him is that you've got a second hero that you can mount. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which can I be think, very very good. Yeah, I think in this list, only having the only. Mount Arrow's Thrandor, which can be a problem. So Legless brings that option. Um, mm. The other thing Legless does do is I find Thrandor's Hall's weakness is magic. Obviously, given that um, you know the whole army revolves around Thrandor, if Thrandor gets paralyzed or transfixed or taken out, it kind of slows it down. So I guess Legless sure. is that ability to snipe race, put some pressure on race that you know, a lot of magic casters that the rest of the list can't do. So he does That's have- true. That that two plus shot is very yeah. nice. I, the two plus shot I've I've seen uh yeah really really heck up some armies for sure. Yeah. Just to keep um, those magic users a bit, you know, not as not as ballsy, I think. So yeah, yeah, even like a big hero, like you can oh hey you've got a you've got a land deal running around. I'm just gonna snipe his horse out. You, yeah. Now he's useless. Or yeah. now he's you know less Leg- good. <laughs> Legolas the horse killer. He's, yeah, he's great. Horse. Great at killing horses. Greatest threat in race for sure. I still don't think he's. I think he sits B. I really I do. Feel I'm feeling B as well. Like he's very good, but I think in this list specifically, I don't know. There's, there's some there's some models I would take high B, oh, low A. Yeah, that's it. Like it's it is definitely teetering because like. He's still I've, very good. Yeah. No, I've, I've seen him put in work. He's put in work for me in the past, but I just... Yeah, we'll check him out. He's my first choice. I'll have low A. Him. I'll put him I low normally, I normally, I normally regret... Whenever I've taken him, I took him recently. Not to, Didn't take the Palace Guard captain. Took Legolas instead, and I regretted it every game. Yeah. So, yeah. That's yeah, it. That's like... So. He also like he costs so much more than a captain as well. Like you know, you start He's start kicking him out with a horse 90? or whatever. Ninety five. He's got armor. Yeah, and then yeah, palace guard captain's like fifteen less, yeah, or twenty less base kind of thing. Like yeah, yeah. Right. But yeah, no, I think uh, I think that's a fair spot for Legolas. Yeah, like he's be, still very good. Be, yeah. Still also, very good. That two plus him. shot. Can we talk about the two attacks on him? Why like, has he only got two attacks? Why I don't. Bring back Megalith. He's yeah. G- G-Dub's Bring gone back. against their rule. Like, <laughs> they've, got, they've got two swords. That means they get plus one attack. So they go to to three. Surely. Like you, you look at yeah. Gimli. You look at 
you know, the uh, King's champion. Dwalin. Dwalin oh, gets fucking four attacks when yeah. he's using two axes. You look at you look at Legolas. He's in this picture. He's holding two knives. Yeah, and he's always he's always using them. I kind of wish they gave. I know they did in the Legend of Legion, but I kind of wish they just gave it to him in this list. Yeah. default. Oh, fighter. Just just, a little bit. Yeah, I, I think if if they FAQ'd it but kept his points as they are at the ninety five. I think that kind of starts justifying his 95 points. Yeah, yeah honestly. 95 points you just don't seem shoot. worth it. You pay for the two plus shoot, but we always roll, roll ones with that. So. Yeah. <laughs> as, as you That's it. That's it. I think like maybe even just upping him by like five, 10 points and giving him three attacks, like that'll be still very solid. I'll be down yeah. for it. Five, yeah. seven as well. Bring back Megalus. <laughs> <laughs> honestly like I'm, I'm surprised they have cut him down to two attacks like, it really doesn't make any sense like you said with like any other hero in the list like in the in the game doesn't make any sense but yeah uh speaking of uh knife fighter though uh we've got the what else ranger, ranger catch. So we've, yeah. yeah we've had the best captain in the game known as the palace guard captain and now we have the worst captain in the game yeah yeah yeah, yeah no i can i can see that uh, 75 points for the same for worse stats than the Merkle captain and the Palace Guard captain. No, nah. doesn't wait. Sorry, hang on, doesn't have March. I've only just seen that. Hmm. So, I'm let sorry. me tell you, Tariel yeah, comes with March and Legless. No, sorry, Tariel comes with accuracy and Legless comes with accuracy. So, let's give um, the Merkwood Ranger captain. You know, the same special rule that the other two named heroes have. So we're never gonna take the Merkwood Ranger Captain. Yeah. Why would you yeah, why would you take why would you take the Merkwood Ranger Captain? Like accuracy. Yeah, boy, yeah, like, sure. Mario, like Exactly. <laughs> who can strike and has accuracy and more might, more fate, more, more defense. Yeah. More defense. Is Tariel, so that's already was an edge. extra ten points for Tariel? Yep. Yeah. And also her her knife fighter special rule is better. Just so much as well. better. Yeah, no, that that is terrible. No, that is awful. That's. I think you need to create a new list for him, and it's captain without March tier. Yeah, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, I've never nice. seen the captain without March. It's well, silly. Yeah, yeah the only I time didn't even I would notice. run Merkwood Ranger captains is if I was just running Merkwood Ranger captains and Tyrell. Oh, if yeah, if you're running the Merkwood Ranger Legendary Legion, yeah, and you need need it for warband space, you chuck in a captain. Yeah, yeah, but beyond that. I mean, just Merkle Ranger Captain and just run Useless. Yeah. Useless. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like, like, especially given like they've got the Legendary Legion now as well. Like adding the Captain in doesn't give you anything at all because you've no, already got anything extra. Yeah. No. Like, it, what the fuck? Like, if it had March, that would make that Legendary Legion interesting because you could suddenly then you have okay. two points of March to go, oh, yep, reposition, keep shooting. Fuck that. That's awful. Yeah, man. Just um, being hard done by in this book, honestly. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry, El. Poor elves. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Speaking five, of elves can't kill anything. being hard done by, we've got fucking Thrandall, king of the woodland realm. Thrand yeah. himself. Definitely D tier in this list. Just yeah, yeah, get you're fucked. absolutely right. Uh, I mean, what's not to love about Thrandall though? Holy I, shit! I love, I love this Thrandall. Well, there's Thrandall. This one, I love Thrandall because there's so many different ways you can run him. You can run him as yeah. Mega combat Thrandral, you can <laughs> run him as support hero Thrandral, or you can do a nice little mixture of the two of of combaty slash support. Uh, yeah. Incredible! I I you used could... to love taking with the circle of kings, additional elven blade, and heavy armor, and he would yeah. just sit at the back of my line, uh, pop and nat that nature's wrath when need be, giving everyone plus one fight and uh, plus one to wound when I had the palace guards. And then once I started dropping their lines or heroes would come in, you open up your, your shield wall a bit and you just go, cool. Here's a fight seven Thrandral. With four um, attacks. With four yeah. attacks, yeah. Yeah. Um, holy shit. Like, yeah. No, like, and then you say that's support Thrandral. That's absolutely a combat Thrandral still. I, that's the thing about Thrandral. I don't know if he's scarier at, like, mounted or scarier on foot. Like, holy shit, this dude is he, an he, absolute... He's that one character in the game that you go, or... Maybe not the one character in the game because we've got Sean here and he will disagree with me. But he's that one hero in the game that you go, you know what? I might actually not consider taking him on a horse or, or the elk. I'd actually might run him on foot. Like he's yeah. not as killy, like yeah. he doesn't get knocked down, but he's more survivable, all those sort of things. So I, he does yeah, that's it. Yeah. 
if you go into Thranduil and you're like, oh, I have the option to take out his, you know, either his elk or his horse, whatever he's mounted on, you're like, but do I? Because suddenly yeah. I take him out, I haven't done any damage to him, and he's sitting on the ground, he's still just as fucking annoying. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. The only thing Absolutely. I will say about Thranduil is because the whole list revolves around him, like I said in the legless part, it does mean that if Thranduil gets shafted or you misplay him a little bit you can really screw yourself so. yeah yeah no absolutely which is kind of why i like him not mounted because it does like you can yeah. just sit him at the back he doesn't get shot the whole time yeah no, i've definitely i've definitely seen when to. i've seen a lot of players that will put frangel on the elk and because they've got him on elk they feel like they need to use him you know to just charge down a line yeah and then yeah. suddenly he's out of position you go all right cool I'm going to take my chances at striking against him and trying to win that fight and kill him. Yeah. Uh, and you've got good chances to do that. Yeah. But when he's sitting at the back of the line and then yeah. your your troops kill your opponents and then suddenly you open up Thranduil and he pops in and your opponent's got little to nothing to deal with it. That's that's why he's so scary. Because his troops it, yeah. simply sit there it, and D6. do everything. As soon D6. as he as soon as he loses, D six D six is uh, yeah, it's scary. Yeah, it's uh, it's he, yeah. He, he I mean he's still got three three wounds, three fate. Like he's still solid enough. But D six on a, on your linchpin, yeah, um, is definitely uh definitely a scary scary thing to run into. But yeah, what I I absolutely love how much you can either like absolutely deck him out or just run him, you know, a bit yeah. further down the line and great for like any points level. You know, if you're playing yeah. points, like oh, I won't take the the elk in the circle that I'll just take the sword and the armor or, you know, yeah, like, you can scale up as you go. Yeah. So it's very it's, cool. a, it's a lot like a ring wraith in that way. You can kind yeah. of yeah. pick and choose what he's got. I, I, uh, I, I, like nice. the, I like taking the risk of just taking him with just the circlet. That's, that's <laughs> always fun. <laughs> wow. Yep. Yoga pose. Yeah. Yoga pose, Thranduil. Dressing gown. I love it. Free Hobbit movie, Thranduil. Bring it back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the beautiful okay. model, OG Thrandor. Uh but yeah, no doubt about it. In this list, he's absolutely a top yeah. best here. That is, he uh, has to be, really, doesn't he? Yeah, exactly. Like he makes the list entirely. It's it's in the title. Yeah, it's Thrandor's souls. It's not Tariel's souls. It should be. Uh, it should be because I honestly think she's also S tier. Holy oh, shit! Yeah, this, without a doubt. What can't this woman do? It's, Next uh, to Thrandor, she's my second favorite character in the game. Fair. <laughs> she's incredible. Honestly fair. And she's my second favorite character in the Tolkien universe, even though she's not in the Tolkien universe. But Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Gonna hate. controversy, I love it. Who's number one? <laughs> Thranduil. Oh, okay. <laughs> fair. <laughs> fair. 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 Um, Except when rolls a four high, then I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Tyrell. Oh my god. Uh, Rendell, Rendell's run Tariel against me a couple of times, like early when we first started the game. And holy shit, she was doing awfully. It was so funny. Like I... every time she ran him, it was just like, no, nah, he Damn. dies. No, nah, she doesn't do anything. No, nah, she fucking heroic combats against two units, doesn't win and takes a wound. <laughs> I just I just hate that like the amount of times I've thrown models at her and just been like, all right, she's bound to lose one of these. Like I'll sacrifice a model. She just never loses, and she just takes three three models with her. Uh, oh, just so, so many good. attacks. She she is really like just the ability to, yeah. You can throw her in. You want her to engage more models. Um, you know, yep. you're happy to call heroic combat. She's fight six with strike. So, you know, if you're taking like a Thranduil, her and a palace guard captain, you've got two strikers, two fight seven models. It's like, yeah. you know, you, you, yeah, it's Phil. she's good. I rate her. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I I rate her above the captain, to be honest. Like she is oh, yeah. second pick for sure. Yeah. No, she's she's pick number two in the army for me, without a doubt. So I think that ST just shows how I would pick this army. It's just bang Thrangel, Tariel, and the Palace Guard captain. That's what I've had, I think, the most like success with is that combination as well. So yeah. I think it is the right way to run that army, to be for yeah. to be fair. Like it is ugh, it's fucked good. Holy shit. Uh, and you need Thrandall. That's it. Like hands down. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's our there's our heroes. Um, looking 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 tasty. Um, some some mixed Just... opinions on a couple of them for sure. I like that. <laughs> that looks right. Yeah, it looks right. Yeah, 
honestly. I think that is absolutely probably one of the more correct ones we've done re- in recent memories. <laughs> I'm, I'm sad that we won't get anyone roasting us in the comments. Watch oh, there just be that yeah, one right. one dude that is in love with the uh, Merkle Ranger captains. I mean, oh, nice models. Awesome yeah. models. Oh, yeah. they do look nice, yeah. Honestly, probably the best looking elf army in the in the game, just because the models are the newest. The only yeah, one okay. that trumps that is uh, if you take an entire army of Haldir's elves. Oh, yeah, yeah. of course. But, yeah. 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 <laughs> Lothlorien. Lothlorien. Mm. All right. Uh, on to warriors. On to warriors. Um, there's a couple. There's a, there's a couple of warriors. Also, speaking of Lothlorien, we've got a couple of proxies proxies in here because there's just no fucking models for, for these boys. And I couldn't find any online uh, of people who'd made... Proxies. proxies. Uh, yeah, no, nah, but anyway, um, we've got uh, starting off the Wood Elf Warrior, uh, with uh, sorry, the Mirkwood Warrior with the uh, with the uh, blades. Uh, um, I have I like mixed them. opinions about the Mirkwood yeah. Warriors, personally, and I know I've had a lot of people talk back to me about this, which is fair enough. <laughs> I, if I'm running this, I just want to take pure palace guard. To be honest, I, <laughs> I don't even look at these these Merkle range on uh, Merkle rangers, the uh, Merkle wood warriors, elf. or wood elf warriors, yeah. whatever you want to call them. They just uh, don't Merkle, tickle so, my yeah. fancy. I, I think, I think the Merkle elf with glaive specifically. I think um, the glaive is it's a nice model. You know, it's a nice rule. You can spear support with it. You can shield with it. Um, still a hand and, and a half sword. Still a hand and a half sword. However, you're paying two points for that. You know, is, you could on a palace guard, you pay two points, you get the spear, you get the shield, and you get the plus one defense, and it can do all the same sort of things. Yeah. Um, even on the Merkwood itself, you could pay one point. And just uh, get and you've got, yeah, yeah shield and hand and a half. You can't get the spear support then. Yeah, but then you get palace guards for the spear supports. Exactly. So I think like the glaive, I always maybe put in like three or four in my list just to sort of like support the edges because. I guess yeah. for me, what Sean's saying is like all palace guard. They only they only really get good near Thrandall, and so there's only so much room around Thrandall. So if you have I'm, sort of I'm the same. on the on the corners or protecting your banner, that sort of thing, um, then you sort of can yeah. save points to maybe get another model or two. So I, I think the yeah. blade for me probably sits like in the B. Like yeah, yeah. I don't think it's as good. Couple. No, it's too expensive for what it does. Defense five. Yeah. Defense five is a bit sad. So yeah, I I honestly didn't realize it was two points. Uh, if it was one, yeah, I'd definitely take it. But the yeah. fact that you can take the shield, all you miss out on is a spear. Yeah, I'd take the shield over that for sure. And also, I the Merkwood elves in general, I actually do rate just purely on the fact that like they are so much well, yeah, like a decent amount cheaper than the palace well, guard. Yeah, they're, like, they're, they're nine points base, whereas palace guard are twelve points base. Like, yeah, I you can get a lot I def- more. I definitely see the I see the the points there, but, but they're yeah. more expensive money wise. So I understand why people yeah, that, that, that one. Too. I'm pretty that sure that's the worst why thing. I did full palace guard back in the day because I just yeah, did not have the money for this. Yeah, yeah. I that that's the biggest thing. Fuck, oh, fuck you, GW. Uh, what are you? you what they're also you know fine. What you're doing? Palace guard are plastic, so. But I'm like well. forty on the bastards, so I'll just continue to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yikes! Well, uh, Merkle Cavalry. Uh, I'm just counting this as a shield because you're not ever going to take a Merkle Cav without shield. That seems dumb, yeah, right. unless you really don't have the points. Um, you just want to drop that one point on one shield? Why not? Okay, sure, but sure. don't. Um, <laughs> drop it. Drop it elsewhere. Um, Merkle Cav. Interesting. I I don't. They suffer the same thing as Gladrum Knights, where they're only strength three and they can't take a lance. Yes, but um, they do at least have that banner six effect inch with banner Thrandall. With Thrandall. And, and they do get plus one to wound within three of Thrandall. So they kind, True. Of, they kind of get the, the plus well, they do one. Kind of, yeah. If they you've got Thrandall and a couple of Cavs, like if you that's your warband and that's your like kind of attack force, like that would be that that's really good. Uh, that's you know the equivalent of uh, of some lances and that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know. I, they also get some to fight six, which is also nice. No, they don't. Definitely. No. Oh, no, that's right. Sorry, yeah. the palace guard are the only ones to get that. Never yeah. mind. 
So they yeah. get fuck. Yeah, so they get the plus one to wound. They get the banner, which is technically yeah, right. technically technically a lance. So but I reckon, bridges and they've got big. You know, the, the base size has become an issue trying to get more than one or two in that. Plus. Yeah, you can. You'd be able to get maybe two on either side if you like. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon but if you, you know, if you do infantry, you can get especially with like a big base like the elk, you can get like almost three on each side. So yeah. Yeah, I think I, I think for me, you're bringing at least two or three in any lists just because you need the mobility, just to take objectives or even just yeah. you know hit from a side maybe where Thrandall is, ping off a heroic combat. Um, but you're probably not going to see these guys in massive numbers. No. Like in yeah, I will say though not over anyway. over Galadrium, <laughs> over Galadrium as well. They are two points cheaper. Um, yeah. They don't have fleet foot, but it doesn't matter that much. They should. Um, they're good elves, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but um, the, the other thing, though, is they can't get a bow, which I don't really like that much. If they had the option for a bow, you could just chuck them on the side and expert rider shield bow. Like, mm, that's tasty. Um, yeah, I think they're B tier. Yeah. I, I put them above the Merkwood boys, but I don't think they're that. You're still, you're still bringing a couple, but. Yeah. You know. They're not yeah. not important to your list. They're the kind of models that if you lose them during the game, ah oh, well, you've yeah. lost them. If they're, like if they're there, yeah, that's yeah, cool. Oh, cool. They can sometimes cap an objective just, or whatever. So whatever. I sometimes just use them to slow people down. I just, I'll have three yeah. or four, and I'll just be like, "Well, my base size is big. I've got a banner within six. I'll throw you in. It'll slow you down for three or four turns because I got a banner. I'm five five. Like yeah, yeah. It just and then I can kill the rest of your army with my um." Plus one to wounding maniacs. Classic, yeah, no, fair, uh, fair, fair. Yeah. Classic band aid, cavalry band aid. Cavalry band aid, yeah. Favorite type. Um, Mirkwood Rangers. This is an interesting one because I they're they're good, but are they fourteen points good? No. That's yeah. They I just yeah they're too expensive. They are yeah. they are very much too expensive. The yeah. knife fighter think... rule is awesome, absolutely yeah. awesome. Um, yeah. But D three fight five obviously is good, but it's that D three they just they just die. They lose a combat, they're gone. They're yeah, like, yeah that's it. Nothing like, you can do about it. And for fourteen points, like what are you really like? Obviously, getting knife fighter for that, but like you compare that to like even just a like a. Galadrim Wood Elf, which obviously is not on this list, but still. Uh, they're still D3, but they're like, you know, four points cheaper if you, you know, if you're decking them out properly. Like that. Yeah. That you can still get, you know, bows and buddy, you know, they don't even have a hand and a half, which the, uh, yeah, just bad. I, just. I think with them, you kind of pay points for them out of the army bonus. So the army bonus includes, yeah, true. you know, the, they don't count towards your bow limit. And so they've yeah. almost like thrown like a two point tax on yeah. this model so that it doesn't. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think the, I think again, same sort of thing with the calf. Like you maybe bring two or three to like cap objectives because I got the elven cloak so they can sit at the back and, and shoot. Yeah. Um, and then if they get into trouble, like they have knife fighters so someone can, yeah. you know, they can, they can get those extra dice. Or unless you go just, I'm just going to run Merkwood Rangers, you run the Legion or even yeah. just, um, not the Legion, you take Thrandral and you just go, I'm just going to take 30 Merkwood Rangers. So I think, yeah. I don't think really you bring like a, a Warband of 12. It's either all or nothing almost with them. Yeah, yeah, I'd take maybe like, you know, at most like eight kind of thing. Like, especially if you've already hit your bow limit cap and you're like, yeah, let's yeah. take a couple more just for, you know, more bows. Um, yeah. Very tasty. But other than that, like, mm. oh, we're about to run out of time. 10 minutes. Ten minutes. That's fine. I think, I think B again, really, honestly, yeah. for me. I think, yeah, I think it's correct. Yeah. They're nice. Uh, a fun yeah, model, model to... but not vital. Put them above the Cav, but yeah. yeah. I think they probably sit for me about the same as Cav. Yeah, but I, I think I'd take them over Cav personally. Yeah. yeah. Um, if I, you know, if I had, you know, 16 points sitting around, I think I'd probably consider taking a Merkled Ranger than a Cav, yeah. even though they are, you know, similar points. Yeah. yeah. Um, just that, yeah, just a little bit su more survivable. Well, survivable with Knife Fighter, kind of, with the with the fight. I don't know. Yeah. 
They should just be defense four. They're wearing armor, like anyway. Yeah. yeah. Honestly. Anyway. And you look at look at um, their heroes, for example. They're D five. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Wood elf warrior with banner. Um, this is the regular banner, not the power. Oh, the ranger one. with banner, you mean? No. This Merc is wood elf. elf uh, that one. Yeah. Sorry, Merkwood. I mean, you know, I, I hear, I see. I, I don't even look at the Merc. I'm just looking at. I'm looking at what else. What else on the brain? Uh, <laughs> I've have shown my bias. What else yet, William? Oh, uh, you know, you would have won a tournament with them if you had brought a display board. Allegedly, you know, so close. Fucking yeah! Well, I don't, I, no one knows the results of that tournament. They're not even out yet. Actually, I think I have a display board. This is the one I was going to give you, mate. I know it's a bit off topic, but look, it's ready to go. Perfect. Oh, it's, it's, on that. it's beautiful. It's all you need. Thank no. you. Thank no. you for rubbing that one in. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Merkwood Captain, Merkwood Elf with banner. Um, yeah, it's a cheaper banner uh, than the Palace Guard. I like, I like. It depends what I'm doing. I think in my head, I like the Palace Guard with banner because of bodyguard. So it just means like, you know, it's to come change. up against Agmar or someone with um, a Sentinel or whatever, they can't do the whole movie banner out. Yeah, true, true. But you know, saving those three or four points on 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 your banner, it might mean that you get an extra elf later on. So I think you've got to bring a banner That's in this it. list. Um, oh, for sure. So, uh, elf banners, elf banners are incredible. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, um, elf, elf banners, double elf banners, or oh, overpowered. Just, I love it. Yeah, it just kind of depends on which banner is better. And personally, I'm actually leaning towards the wood elf one because it's just a little bit cheaper. And yeah, sure, bodyguard is is fantastic on a banner, especially if you don't want it to run, like you got VPs or something. Yeah, yeah, um, that's definitely massive. But, yeah, it's an elf. Courage, courage vibes, vibes. pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. I normally just go Merkwood Elf just to save points because exactly you're spending points everywhere else in this army. Always going to take a banner, so I think both banners are probably going to sit S tier. I mean, they're an elf banner. Elf like, banners, I think, just immediately sit in S tier. You can put the palace yeah. guard captain, oh, the palace guard banner up there as well. Just do it yeah. straight away because the exact same story. <clears throat> but that's it. Like, yeah, it, it, you're never gonna, you're never gonna not take a banner in an elf list. You shouldn't ever not take a banner unless it's really low and points. It's, and it's just like, especially when you can get your boys to fight six with a few palace yeah. guard. Suddenly you walk into big heroes, Aragon, for example, and he's like, cool, I've got a banner. I've got a warrior that can also banner against you. So, yeah, it's, it's always a lot. And Frangel, unfortunately, doesn't have Lord of the West. So you do want to just have a banner nearby. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, um, it's because he's not in the West. He's... Yeah. Well, uh, so is Caliborn, but we won't talk Lord, about that. <laughs> Lord yeah. of the Middle. Lord, Lord of the... Of... <laughs> A lot of the North. <laughs> King of the North. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, is oh, this a Sentinel? It S-tier. is. This is a Wood Elf Sentinel. Absolutely. Yeah. Bang. Having uh, having Sentinels in the Merkwood list is outrageous. Game changer. So good. So good. Um, I mean, they were always in the Merkwood list. That's where they like originally came out. And then when the Hobbit movies came out, they sort of didn't turn up. But then I'm glad that they added them back. Them in. Oh, it's just um. You guys talked about it in the Lafarian video, but just so good. Um, yeah. and in this list too, that like it punishes, it punishes other armies with that plus one to wound with that high fight. You know, you can sure. do you can do crazy stuff where like you can sentinel a model in so that like Tariel or Thrand will get more dice. Like set it up so you can fit a, your base in there and get an extra dice and just stuff That's like it. that. So. Yeah. yeah, no, absolutely. It is. They are incredible. Just the ability to move your opponent's models is in, like absolutely game changing in this in this system. Like it is huge. Yeah. Wood of Sentinels have won me games like easy, hands down. Um, as <laughs> 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 uh, so I beat Sean at Gladstone as a Wood of Sentinel, going, "Hey, give me the relic. Come on." Allegedly, come on, relic. Allegedly. allegedly, allegedly, we still don't know. Just still don't know. Um, but yes, uh, in absolutely incredible, absolutely S tier, S tier yeah. in any army you can have them, fantastic. Yeah. Um, and this is a ranger with warhorn, uh, warhorns in general in an elf list, Bye. useless. Uh, especially a work with ranger with a warhorn. That's the so expensive. Points, the only thing I would rank the Merkwood ranger with warhorn above a regular warhorn solely on the fact that it has an elven cloak. 
But even then, even I'm then. still not spending 30 points on a Warhorn. I don't care what list I'm running. I'm not spending 30 fucking points on a Warhorn. Maybe it genuinely, 2,000 points. Maybe. Yeah, or, it genuinely, Hobbits, like, if you were... Yeah, like Hobbits, Hobbits, fantastic. So I can get to Courage 5 Hobbits. That's it. Arnold, oh, I'm fantastic. Yeah. I think there's there's definitely a list where it's like, oh, you could probably do with a Warhorn. Just yeah, if you Courage two or even Courage three, but when you Courage five, like yeah, the the, yeah. the payoff is like is negligible. And even when you go to if you minus one, like yeah. Courage four is still very solid. still very yeah very and you've also got so much bodyguard to... exactly. So yeah. it's, there's so yeah. much bodyguard in this list, so it doesn't doesn't matter it doesn't matter as much yeah uh which is actually why i would put uh the palace guard warhorn might as well get to that uh lower because why the fuck have you got a warhorn on a body on, <laughs> uh, 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 on the off chance i guess that uh that uh thrandall dies maybe uh which like yeah, it granted could happen um uh rubbish has happened to oh, me. Oh, what's he naming uh, it it didn't. I didn't let me name it. Uh, gonna keep it new. Yeah, new. Uh, just, <laughs> just a new uh, model. I just new. Uh, yeah, we'll add it. Add a B. New, Perfect. New, Perfect. Yeah. Shot. Um, garbage. That, uh, that twin goes that. Yeah, the shit twin. Yeah. Um, yeah. I always forget which one it is. Sean remembers. El Rahi is the shit here. <laughs> shit twin. Aladan, on the other hand, I can Aladan oh. in our game, Jarek, mate. Stood up against those Barrow Whites, like spoilers. Yeah, spoilers. spoilers. <laughs> I was just thinking. I noticed it again. I was just thinking about this. I'm glad we're doing a Thrandall's Halls tier list, and then I'm going to play Rivendell in. Like, yeah. Nice. <laughs> right. <Okay. laughs> uh, yeah, anyway. Rivendell like next week. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, Merkwood, Merkwood, fucking cavalry banner also in noob tier like why the fuck would you have that when they have a six inch banner out of Thrandall? what the fuck yeah it's also like cav banners both. shit i hate a cav banner unless you're all cab yeah unless you're yeah, all cab. if i was running a fully mounted mirkwood knights list i'd probably bring a second one just so i could have a banner everywhere yeah or uh, just for Thrandall and legless Thrandall and legless got a re-roll but apart from that it's not happening. Yeah. No, not for yeah. the point. I wonder who would ever run that list. <laughs> Is that a jab? <laughs> um, <laughs> I've been thinking about this. Mm. Um, but yeah. So we've got a minute. Uh, do we want to just come back to these boys? Yeah. We shall. We shall do All that. Right, let's do that. See you uh, soon. See you in a sec. We're back. Oh, we're, we're back. Four more palace guard. Yeah, I love a, a good palace guard. Old, very you old do. palace guard, the shield. Big fan. Um, I don't personally. I would not bother taking them just with shield. No, it's got to be spear and shield. Spear I agree. Shield. So yeah. and like you know, if if you're feeling you like you don't want to spend a million dollars on twelve Merkwood elves, then yeah, you can bring them, but. If yeah, you look, actually just play the game it. and win and, you know, just <laughs> wipe your opponents like any elf player should. The only fun way to play the game. 100%. Is yeah. Winning is fun. Is yeah. to make your opponent not have any fun. And that's exactly. why you play Zagmar. But... Um... <laughs> oh, fuck Angmar. Oh, get out of here. Um, all right. Yeah, look. No, it's pretty... I reckon, I reckon B, like... They're good. They're still like palace guard with shield. They're still fight five, fight six, plus one to wound, bodyguard. Like they're still a really good model. Yeah, you paint yeah. thirty, but it's like, yeah, yeah. I'd actually put. I think I'd put a Merkwood I'd put warrior up with there. shield. Yeah, I put a Merkwood warrior with shield over a palace guard with shield. Just I'd purely because yeah. like oh, you're yeah. just gonna give a, you're just giving a warrior a shield. Might as well only spend 10 points and 13 yeah. points on it. Like... Yeah, especially you get the fight six from the shield, other spears. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Uh, speaking of, uh, A tier, old mate. Absolutely. A tier, definitely. Yeah. And then go F tier if Ant handles within three. Yeah, yeah. Um, old mate, uh, spear. Yeah. I reckon the spears. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Easy. 
Spear with shield, yeah, absolutely. Spear with shield, like S tier, just making A tier. Making most of your army out of that as well. Like, I think I think the Merkwood Elves and the Merkwood El- the Palace Guard with Spear and Shield is like the majority of your army, realistically. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't see it like going too far the other way. Um, and then obviously you want some bows, which also I reckon these guys A tier yeah. because they're yeah, gonna be heaps cheaper than a fucking ranger. And uh, they do the exact same fucking job. And they get plus one to win within three inches of Thrandral. Exactly. Boom. Exactly. I always, I always like having like, you know, the guy with the shield and the palace guy with the spear going in, and then you just got like a random archer coming with a two hander, and then so he's getting like plus two to wound, and it's just like yeah, brutal. I'm wounding you on fours, you know, it's yeah, absolutely brutal. Yeah, um, it really, it really uh, helps buff that uh, that only strength three that a lot of elf lists struggle with. Yeah, that's it's the classic elf syndrome of hey, I'm fight five, so I'm going to win all the combats, but I'm not going to kill anything. Yeah, this Which, army um, changes that completely. It really does. But yeah, uh, touching on that army bonus though. Um, now we haven't we we you occasionally do this when they're good army bonuses. Most of the time, it's like oh look, it's uh, you know plus one courage. Um, <laughs> Which is a good army bonus. Let's be honest. It's a de- like, it's, yeah, don't get me wrong. Plus, decent plus army bonus, courage. but it's. Is probably one of the better, better army bonuses out there. Yeah, Harry like Ford they're, Gondor they're, is fucked. They're good oh. army bonuses, but there's not a lot to talk about when it's just plus <laughs> one courage. Yeah, you make a point. You make a point. Yeah, this army uh, bonus is probably one of the best in the game. Yeah, it's definitely it's plus one to wound, close. and your Merkle Rangers become 100 percent bows, which is not the exciting bit of that army bonus. It's that right, plus one to wound good. within yeah. three of for Andrew. Yeah, oh. so Palace Guard Captains, Merkwood Elf Captains, Palace Guard, Merkwood Cavalry, and Merkwood Elves all getting plus ones to wound when making strikes. That is, like, it's huge for an Elf list. Yeah. yeah. Because, yeah, at strength three usually will hurt an Elf list, and, like, the only way to, like, kind of mitigate that with other Elf lists is, like, oh, I've got a two-hand, so I've got to get a negative on one of my dice. Yeah. And then you roll the six on them two-hander, and then they go and they <laughs> cry. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Then you go into a corner and cry. Um, yeah, and that's it. Like you, you've got this huge fight value, and this army bonus is like now you can also kill things. Yeah, yeah um, it's funny with this army because often what happens is your elves are killing things better than Thrandil is or Tyrell is. Yeah, uh, and so it's yeah, it's it's weird sometimes where you've got Thrandil needing sixes against a defense seven model, but these elves are needing fives. Yeah. So sometimes can, fours. <laughs> yeah, sometimes fours. It's just when you're when your basic infantry are threatening, like even dwarves, like defense eight, defense nine, yeah. and it's like oh, I'm scared all of a sudden. It's yeah, no. Big I time, think the, the model that benefits the most from this army bonus has to be the palace guard captain, though. Having a fight seven captain who is plus one to wound with plus one to wound and his strength, strength four already. with a hand and a half sword. That's absolutely fucking terrifying for any yeah. any other hero. Like yeah, the one that we always use a lot is wound. Aragon. Yeah, having just having a shitty little two might captain walk into Aragon and go, Strike yeah. cool. Eight, 80 points comes into even like you know you can you can challenge like an Azog or a Bold with that as well. Yeah. Like hey, here's, hey, here's the, the same, same fight. fight value. It's fucking. And I'm gonna have him play it, so you're yeah. You're, Strike oh, up, true. Bitch. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Elven Blade plus, plus twos if you're going to take that negative. Fuck me. Yeah. So good. Um, yeah. Amazing. I I think we've got some we've got some good lists here. That's a um, that's real solid. I I do actually genuinely want to start a Thrandor Souls list at some point, but it's always like for the longest time, me and this hobby has been. Hobbit armies, fucking get the fuck out of here with your power creep. I don't like this <laughs> shit. Uh, but I'm creeping in. I am creeping in very slowly. I'm dip, dipping my toes. I've been playing some uh, Iron Hills, some Erebor Reclaim. Oh, that's the worst, mate. Like, if you're going to play Iron Hills, I think for me, like, <laughs> this is. I've got all three up armies, spoiler alert. Yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> I got all three. I used to play like old school Thrandall's Halls before the Hobbit movies, so now that's Lothlorien, unfortunately. But 
I think when I look at the three armies, this is the one that I love, love the most. Yeah. It's got weaknesses, like all armies. Magic, it doesn't like magic. Um, and unfortunately, most armies like, don't. Yeah, well, Florian doesn't mind it. Being, being the um, mind, but but being the just, elf lord himself. Yeah. Which, like, not just based on oh, this is the one I like. The best elf army in the game is it this one? I think Rivendell probably pips it just. I what think makes, Rivendell. What, what makes that? I think the ability for Rivendell is just a little bit more flexible than. Yeah than this one. I think like this one, what we talked about forces you almost to play a certain way. And yeah. some armies love that you like, you know, if you think about Agma, for example, they want you to death bubble up so that they can just yeah. paralyze you or they can use their shade or they can Gulabar can come in and hurl you and kill you. Yeah. Um, so it, that it kind of, it has a few more counters, whereas I think Rivendell's a little bit more diverse in what it can do. Um, it doesn't have like the, the raw killing power, but you've got models like Lawfendal who don't care about magic. Um, yeah, you know, you can get the Rivendell Knights. Like, it's a little bit more diverse. I yeah. think it's you've a got Gilgalad. Well, yeah, Gilgalad. <laughs> the um, lad. They're, you know, the heroes are more survivable. They're not as dependent on them. But I think Three Endless Halls is a close second. I think from what I've seen, I'm not, I don't know, like just looking at like other tournaments and stuff around the world, like, Rivendell does still do very well. And Thrandall's Hall do, does as well, but I think Rivendell historically has been just a little it's bit better. It is, yeah. It is, yeah. it is the better elf army. Um, I, oh, man. Which makes I, sense, right? Like, they're the high elves. Yeah, yeah, it does, yeah. I I, I <laughs> just, you know, I like to take some pride in playing the, the worst elf army. Um, <laughs> and the worst version of the worst elf army. <laughs> the PJ party. PJ party. The PJ party. Oh, so, love a good meme list. So love a meme list. Um, but yeah, no, Thrandor Souls, what a what a good um. Um they yeah, they definitely, like you said, yeah, absolutely have some weaknesses, but how good? How good are awesome. they when they can when they can pop off? Ooh. They pop off. Even yeah. Especially yeah, they pop off. And that elk model, like I think it got voted like the best model in the in the game. Yeah. I, yeah. I'd put it up there for sure. Actually, and in fact, no, yeah, I would say probably best model in the game. That is, which, it is which one? beautiful. The uh, Thrandall. Thrand no, Thrand yeah. Thrand oh, yeah. I think, I think it, there was a poll in GBHL, I think maybe during COVID or something, and yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the, it won, and it definitely is a wonderful model, so. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, shame it plays like shit. Um, <laughs> 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 All right. Well, anyway. Uh, thanks for joining us, Jarek. Yeah, no, thanks for having me, guys. It's you know, it's always good to catch up and talk about elves. Good fun. <laughs> where um, where can we see more of your beautiful face, mate? Give us a uh, yeah. So if you go to there, right there. If you go to the warg on uh, YouTube, you can check out. Our, some of you might have already seen it, but you can check out our battle reports. Um, Thrandall's Halls does feature at least four times on the channel, so you know that's <laughs> lovely. That's a high um, count for sure. High yeah. count, definitely. Um, so yeah, there's, there we've got heaps of bat rep, bat reps over there, and um, yeah. no, they're they're a great they're a great bunch of boys. Uh, you know, we've we've featured in a couple of the well, Sean's featured in a couple of their bat reports. I'm still yet to be in one. <laughs> I drove six hours and I wasn't in one. I'm, oh. I'm monopolizing my my features in WAG. It's just me. Next time, Lynn. You can run your yeah. Dunlin into my Thrandall's Halls or something. Just bring oh, a display board, yeah. mate. Yeah. We only oh, allow yeah. display boards on our channel. Well, well I'll never be on. All right. Well, anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> head, head over to WAG. Check them out. We'll uh, have links in all the right places. Down below, up to the left, right, wherever they go these days. I don't know anymore. Maybe. Yeah, that changes all the time. But all it's right, a weird guys, landscape, thanks. this YouTube. <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, and we'll catch you all uh, next time. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was cute.